Okay guys, here it is, table number nine, pirate table. It's been a long time in the making. Um, yeah, come check it out. So I've used a lot of people's ideas. Probably talked to a thousand people. And so if you see your idea, thank you. I probably don't remember your name to so give you credit for it, but it was you. You know who you are. So anyways, okay. So the first compartment is the poker. And the best part about this is when you're playing poker, you have the dealer and you need a switch because every single turn you switch yeah so that's fun okay and then next we have let's see we have the game over here this side over here oh sorry so you got your little ships you got your cannonballs they're magnetic so they stick up there so you can play a little game of battle boats or whatever. You got your poker, you got your battle boats, you got, oh uh, let's see. Alright, down here we've got the door. So this turns obviously. And here we got the key hidden. Pirate key. That up to this. So you open this up. This is the captain's box. Daniel, the guy on the camera, actually drew that. And inside the cap or captain's box, you got a little ship. You got some pirate rings. You got a telescope just in case you need to see something on the other side of the living room. You got some treasure, you got your maps, you can take your maps out. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, come down, look down in here. We've got a hidden compartment. Inside of the hidden compartment, you see this little latch? You pull the latch, the box falls out here. Turn this here. Key goes in there. Twist it the right way. Oh, I was going the right way. And it's a music box, and you can just hide whatever you want to hide in there. Hides up inside. So, put that back inside. Fifteen hidden compartments, and to be honest, I might miss one, so you're gonna have to forgive me. But so these are ox bone carved into chess pieces, which is awesome. I'm gonna need these for later, so we'll leave that out. All right, what else do we have? Here? Oh, that compartment's empty. There are two empty compartments. You just gotta witness one of them. Here's the second one. Alright, here's the next one. This is the RPG box. So inside the RPG box, we've got dice. You've got your players. You've got them so they can sit up here. You got so you can put your pencils up there. Um, I wasn't sure quite what to do here. I might still add something there, but uh, yeah, you guys, just move one up there. I'll leave that one out too. And then next, oh, you got your handcuffs. I thought those were priority, and I found them in an antique store, so <laughs> I added them. Yeah. Oh, I also found this at an antique store and thought. What pirate doesn't need a flintlock pistol? So, got that. And then, as well, a sword. The blade of this sword, I had a lot of fun building this because this blade's from the Civil War. Um, you can see really close up there. 
and it didn't have a handle on it, so I built the handle as piratey as I could think. But uh, yeah, that blade is actually been through battles, so it's pretty cool. And then along with the pirate are the uh, RPG box. You've got a dice tower, and I built it so if you're on high seas, it won't tip over. Just in case, you know, uh, you, you never know who's gonna. So yeah. Got your the dice tower for your RPG box. So let's go put that back inside. Getting a little too crowded up on top. What else? What else? What else? Um, back to the captain's box. So that's everything inside. Uh, let's see. you're losing that chest. Push the button, cannon pops out. And what's the point of having a cannon unless it actually fires? Jeez. It's always louder than I think it's gonna be. Anyways, <laughs> yeah that's it. That's the pirate table. So uh, comment, let me know how you like it, let me know what table I should build next. And uh, I'll, uh, like always, like and subscribe. Thanks.